Hey, what's going on, guys? Gerard Fairley, September 2nd. Was that Thursday? Today's, today's a Thursday. I just wrote an article this morning. I was drinking my coffee, just talking about updates to, uh, you know, the Mannheim hustle. Um, back in the day, in case you don't know, I'll just recap it real quickly. The Mannheim hustle, uh, the or my auto buying service, a.k.a. You know, the Mannheim hustle, no trademark infringement intended, um, is basically you, a person who has access to an account, inventory, right, can see the account, can uh, and can bid on behalf of the dealership or is the dealership, can download some photos and present this in a post to people. Hey, come buy this car. Come get it today. I can go. I can get it from the auction for you today. All right. That's the buying service. Essentially, you run ads on Craigslist, your social media. You can talk to your friends and family. You looking for a car, a Honda? I can save you a couple thousand dollars. Let me get it for you from the auction directly. Just give me a little finance fee. And that finance fee can be anywhere from seven fifty to twelve, fifteen hundred bucks, all right, depending on the car. So that's the buying service in a nutshell. And you're able to utilize that as a authorized rep of a dealership or an a dealership. Typically, the smaller dealerships will do this, office-based dealerships like here in Georgia. And I do a few of those every month. Uh, you have other states, New Jersey, et cetera, et cetera. But you can have a small car lot. And you simply want to be able to uh, sell more vehicles that are not necessarily in your inventory. So you can market to customers, bring customers into your office and say, hey, what are you looking for? Let me help you find it and I'll charge you a fixed fee. And it's a contract, right? So when I first presented this, obviously it was, it was more for authorized reps, people who are not dealers and so they were working from home or wherever else. And so this kind of arrangement works better for someone you know, uh, you know, friend, family, co a colleague or a coworker or, 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 you know, things of that nature. Because they know you, there's some trust built in there. Because they got to send you the money first to buy the car. They give you the deposit, and they got to send you the money to buy the car, right? But if you're a dealership now, if you're an office-based dealership like here in Georgia, yeah, you know what you do? Now, you can do much more to give the person, your customer, the comfort. The comfort of the environment of an office, right? right you have an office. This is my office. I'm in the basic front. And then I have a waiting room out back over there. But what I'm talking about now is you could put up on this wall right here a smart TV. You put up a smart TV, you get a small office. This is, you know, 300 bucks. This is not 300, but you get something at three, three and a quarter. If you're a dealership, you already have this office. You put up a smart TV or on the other wall, however your office is configured. Now you go into your account. And you pull up your inventory for whatever you're looking for, whatever car you're looking for. The customer is sitting across from your desk, right? You've agreed upon $1,200 as the profit. You're looking for the maxima or the infinity or whatever you're looking for. And they can see the vehicles now on the TV screen. It's much different than I'm looking on their phone. It's smaller. It's now it's larger. It's louder. People are very visual. So you want to tap into that visual aspect of your customer. Huge, bright pictures of the car. If you type into Mannheim OVE, you see the cars going through. Well, we used to back in the day before COVID. But you can, you can even do that, tap into live. Or, so now your customer has a whole visual experience. Oh, wow. Maybe they didn't want to go to the dealership because they didn't want to be hassled and pay over what they feel comfortable with the profit margin of, right? So, you, so they was attracted to your offer. You're able to give them hands-on concierge treatment. They're going to the car. You can answer questions about the details of the vehicle, blah, blah, blah. Let's examine the condition report together. So they feel like they're getting one-on-one, -on -one, but not the same kind of pressure as out in a dealership, right? They're getting the comfort and they're getting the visualness. So that's what you're offering them at a discount. And now if you're a dealer, you can offer them Tim Tags, and do the whole processing of the title transfer and everything else right there from your office. All right. So this is the buying service now. Forget the pictures downloaded on your laptop. You have to broaden it now. 
And the office allows you the structure to do that in large 48 screen TV. I wrote an article about this. A large 48 screen TV you can get from a pawn shop, a couple hundred bucks, all right? And this will allow you to just spend a few dollars a week now on marketing to clients who are already looking for a car. They just don't want to go to a large retail dealership. They got the cash. And if you're a dealer, you can offer financing as well, right? Not everybody wants to buy a car off of their phone through Carvana. Some people still want a little bit of hand-holding, a little bit of ex expertise put in there with the transaction, your expertise, all right? Without the full retail hammer on the head, let's make money.